G'day, my name is James, I've spent the last three years sailing Australia with my two daughters on board our boat, the Salty Jocks. Well, this has been quite an awful turn of events. In that time, we've sailed somewhere between four and 5,000 nautical miles. And the reason why that's important to know is because most recently, we spent three and a half months at the start of cyclone season right through the Kimberley. And basically on that trip, everything that could break did break. My sails ripped, my engine mounts blew, my solar went. And because of the time of the year that we were there, it just got so hot that not even the fridges could keep up, the fridges I had on board. I was trying to juggle two kids as well as trying to keep food cold enough so that we could eat it before it went off. So once we got to Darwin, my solution to that was to throw the existing fridges straight in the bin and part of the upgrades that we did while we were there was to get two Bushman's fridges and install them in the boat. Basically I could not afford to have my fridges die again especially on the way back through the Kimberley on another trip. The feeling of having those go and, and running out of food was not something that I that I enjoyed at all. So I'm just going to run through a couple things about what I like about the fridges and uh, and how it's been working for us. So the first fridge I installed fits right next to Isla's bed and there's a perfect little spot for it. We've got the fridge set up there right next to our water maker. These fridges do actually come with a, an extra compartment on top which is more of a fridge compartment and you can tell the attention to detail like everything's finished off really really nicely. The best thing for us about having these fridges on board even though they're metal construction is that they're marine plated so we're not going to have any issues with rusting or things like that on board. These are the collars here so I've got the first collar on and the lid and obviously not everyone's going to be installing these in such tight spots. And I've filled mine up with beef. Beef and fish. So when I spoke to Tom, they've actually put a lot of thought into arranging the baskets so they fit underneath the, um, the, the top collar. You know, they said, oh, it's really good for fruit and veg and things like that. But, you know, if I'm totally honest, I mean, we're just, all, we're just beef all the way. There's not a whole lot of vegetables that go, uh, go into this fridge. It's just all beef. So that's why I've opted just to freeze everything and, uh, and not put that additional collar on top. The only thing I found with the collar is what I didn't realize is that it does need about 150 mil behind it in order to open up. If you have it hard up against something, there's not enough space for the lid to actually fold right the way back. You still get a fair bit of movement, but that's purely just where I've chosen to put the fridge, you know, it's, uh, it's not the best spot. So we're now currently back in the Kimberley again, and for quite an extended period of time, and I just can't stress enough how much these fridges haven't missed a beat. They're the two fridges that I'm relying on. I've got another one that I, I am waiting for it to die because I've already replaced four on warranty. But the only purpose of having that one is just to have, just get a couple months out of it so we can stay out a bit longer. These two fridges are gonna be what I count on, especially once the weather heats up. And once we get further south and we're out in the Montes, planning on spending a, a large amount of time there. So I can't have the fridges, the water make, all the solar. I can't have those things failing, you know, it's a nightmare. So I'm really, really confident that we've got it nailed and they've been amazing so far. Everything is frozen rock solid. One other thing I'd like to include actually is that there's a grate on the top for ventilation and I was worried about things falling in there. And my youngest daughter at the age of three poured a full cup of water into, and I was, I'm sure this is not recommended, but, uh, but she poured a full cup of water straight down that grate and nothing happened. Everything's dried out, it's all good, everything's protected in there and the fridge had no issues, no issues whatsoever. So I don't recommend it, but if it does happen, you'll be okay. So if you're planning some crazy trips, I definitely recommend getting the Bushmans and, um, and I would love to see everyone out there getting amongst it.